Because I'm going to take the world economy and the, pol and the politicians of the planet to court for slavery to humanity. But I will go there now. It starts with this. Yeah, the title of this tree is Picking Ripe Fruit from the Ground. Ripe fruit is the fruit when it's ready. See, I'm getting goosebumps on my brain again. Sorry, it's like a flash. Right? So, uh, ripe fruit is when the fruit is ready. That means it's ripe. Madura. Fruit and madura happens to show. So, what I mean is, right, fruit and madura happens to show is, in life, you cannot reach out and take good from life. Like the apple that you know, if you reach to the tree and push, when you bite down, it's not ready. It's not what you want. You have to wait for the tree to give it. And those you find on the floor. The right fruit. The fruit that is ready to be eaten. So that life, the tree has to give it to you. Okay? And then crowdfunding love was, I identified love as one of the things that connects us humans as one big family to this planet. So if 2016 years ago, when Jesus was born, um, if love had stopped, and if love stopped, women would literally, literally stop giving peace of, them, of themselves, blood, bone, and meat to create all humans. If love stops, that process stops too. Keep in mind, women give themselves a piece to create all humans right now. They were all born out of the flesh, blood, and bone of women that give themselves for humanity. That's what happens, man. Women. See, if the woman, when she's pregnant, if she doesn't feed herself too much, the baby will actually take away her bone. Her teeth will fall. Because women are women give themselves a piece like that for humanity. All of us, including themselves. All and meanwhile, and the Bible says they took a piece of Adam to make Eve. Which we know. <laughs> it's the other way around. Okay? <laughs> so this is it. Crowdfunding love. Love is what connects us humans. And it's something, for example, love, if you have love to give to someone. You only feel the love when you give it, man. And it's not a matter of giving love to you so that you can give love to me. It's the chance of me being able to give you my love that makes me feel the love I feel, man, for you. It's for you letting me do it that I'm being very thankful. Oh, thanks, man. I love you, man. Right? That's love. Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, something you give if you want to feel it. Give. Test, <laughs> contemplate, recognize. This is actually, see I'm here every day for the last four years, create every day. Like, I don't give a fuck about nobody. I'm here, I'm in the process, I'm gonna be honest with myself. So I'm actually inspired every day. Before, I've been doing this for a while, before I would have to wait for inspiration. But then I found out what inspired me. And this is it, this is my recipe. This is how I did everything. Test, contemplate, recognize. So I'll give you a caricature of it. I test something. Contemplate what I did, recognize, test again. Contemplate what I did, recognize, and I go on and on and on. Create. This is my recipe. And then it says, nourish the truth of being human. So we all know what nourish is. It's kind of like party with it, like, you know, embrace it in a way. Embrace the truth of being human. Okay? So I came to this conclusion, my friends. <laughs> we live in an ecosystem. It does not mean we're part of it. Keep in mind, I'm an atheist. I don't believe in God. God made all this for us. It's not in me. I question. And I came to this conclusion. We live in an ecosystem. It does not mean we're part of it. But again, I am not speaking about aliens and spaceships. That's human creation. I'm speaking biologically. For example, you, we are all an ecosystem. We are 10% human and 90% bacteria. A lot of that bacteria came from our mothers. And a lot of bacteria comes now. What happens is this. The bacteria alien to you finds conditions to live in, has two ways to go at it. One, find the flow, adapt, make you strong. Yeah. Or, selfish, feed off you and die with you. I'm not saying we're bad bacteria, but I'm speaking biologically, we're not part of this planet. How did I reach this? My friend, here's the fucking art, this is the best part. We're not gonna go from a story to a science project. Project. Science project. We're all gonna do the science project. I did uh -huh. come to this conclusion. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 yes. And the majority of the people who have done to this, I think all of them, at least got left this place questioning. Okay? So this is how I figured it out. First of all, I use the tool which we're very good at. Great. It's our imagination. 
And then, with this magic stick, <laughs> what we're going to do here, man, is we're going to take out one element from the ecosystem. We have a graphic in our brain that's showing the balance of the ecosystem. And now we're going to take out. If what we take out is missed, that means it's part of it. So if what we take out, other things start falling with it, that means what we took out is part of it. For example, we're now going to, with this magic stick, going to take out the egg of the mosquito. Just the egg, man. <laughs> we're going to leave the mosquito alone, and now we're just going to interrupt like a magic stick. We're going to take out just the eggs of all of the planet from the mosquitoes. But the mosquitoes stay. There, it's done. What happens? Let's think. Mosquitoes put their eggs in water. If we take the eggs out of the water, the small fish has no food. The other fish that eats the small fish has no food. So we now, in our graphic, can understand that from taking out the egg from the ecosystem, it's tilting down. That means the egg is part of the ecosystem. Correct? If we take out other balance starts falling down with it, that means, hey, the egg is part of the ecosystem, right? We have to, you understand what I'm saying? I swear to break the ecosystem. We take out, and if something is missing, like we take out the egg, the small fish has no food, the other, the other yeah, fish, yeah, yeah. so that means, hey, wait a minute, that's part of it, because that's balancing the ecosystem, yeah, yeah. right? Okay, so, and because I've been here for a long fucking time, not a long fucking time, but I have been thinking about this for a while, and I've been here creating, like exercising a muscle like you do with your arms, I've been doing it with my brain, which is great. Okay? And this is the story that I'm telling you, now we're in a science project. I came to the conclusion that the ecosystem is so strongly connected, man, that prey need predator. We know predator need prey, but it's not so obvious that the prey needs the predator. But they do, in order to have balance in this nature to live. I'll give you this example. In America, 70 years ago, when they started with these natural parks, one of them was called Yellowstone, and they had wolves that hunted buffaloes. And the Americans started thinking they're predators, they might hunt people. So fuck it, let's hunt all the wolves. So they did. Here's what happens. The, wolf, the wolves, by disappearing, the buffaloes disappeared too. Normally when you say, so we killed all the wolves, what happened? Well, there are a lot of buffaloes. No, man. The buffaloes disappeared too, and it's very simple. Everything in this ecosystem, like the apple that falls from the tree, seeds back into the ecosystem. Yeah. Including that buffalo. This is what happened. The wolf would hunt the buffalo. Hey man, wait a second. The wolf would hunt the buffalo. Right? Eat. Leave the rest of the buffalo. That would attract animals. That would attract smaller animals. That would mess with the grass. Make the grass grow. That would attract the buffaloes. By killing all the wolves, like that, boom, 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 all those animals that were fed off the dead buffalo, there was no more wolf to hunt the buffalo. So there was no more dead buffalo to feed all those small, all small animals. So that grass stopped growing. So a year after that, when the buffaloes were passing by, <laughs> don't have noise. Yeah, because the balance was broken. Yeah. That that carcass was not there anymore to feed those small animals to bring the grass up. Okay, yeah. we interrupt here for one one second. <laughs> so the buffalo and the wolf is also part of the ecosystem, correct? Yes. We all agree. inside a fence will be running around free. You know what disappears with this? Where is it? Magic stick? No, 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 no. <laughs> the camera. Oh, oh, no, okay. just here. oh film. There. That's what disappears with this. All that we know is real. So, for example, if humans were to disappear, that camera would cease to exist that second. Because this is a human creation which only works with us. They don't see it. It doesn't work with them. Plus, the 
That is not from this fucking planet. It's from our imagination. So if we think our humans, that will never show up again. This shit doesn't grow with trees, man. Our reality is ours, man. It's a collective believing. Okay? And we're not living in time. You know what? You know what's going on right now? This is reality. We're flying 465 meters per second that way. And going much faster on the side. So certain that the sun's gonna be born tomorrow. And for that to happen, this is the velocity that we're going. That's now. And look, I'm not feeling that. How is it possible? Well, once it's fiction, now it's reality. But if you take out humans, it's all fiction. Because it doesn't grow with nature. It's our reality. Okay? So, see? I say we're aliens to this ecosystem because the egg of the mosquito has more connection to it than we do. Okay? And look, we're living our collective reality, which like a bubble of soap. You know those strings that make bubble of soap? So, so uh, bubble of soap? You know the strings in the air bubble? So, if you look at the string, yes, that's not at 465 meters per second. We're velocity. In our velocity, the bubble is our collective reality, which is not here. It's collective reality. So we get the past with the present, with, with the present all mixed up. See, time is this. You will never be 13 again. This means all the seconds that went by in this conversation will not exist. All there is is now. And now is at 465 meters, 465 meters per second that way. And much faster on the sun. All that part that no longer exists, it's a collective memory, man. That's how, where, where we're at. See, Steve Hawkins says, we run the risk of being alienated by artificial intelligence. Steve Luigi Delgado says, we have been alienated by one of our creations, man. Pinocchio, Dash, the world economy. See, the world economy is the true sense of the word, which is economy, Dash, savings. Because you grab your money, you try to make your money last, and get the most. The world economy is the opposite. It sells you garbage, convinces you to recycle that garbage, and come back and buy more garbage faster. We're slaves to it, man. <laughs> yeah, world economy, man. We're slaves. We've been alienated by one of our agencies. If you think about humans, world economy doesn't exist. It's human creation. You know how world economy exists? Collectively, believing in it, therefore it is. Maybe. Now, 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 now is now is what matters, and then all the rest is collective memory. Okay, time is this, boys and girls. We will never be 13 again. So every second that goes by no longer exists. What we have is a collective memory, a bubble of soul, in which we live in. And because of that, we're not up ahead on time thinking. Wait a minute. No, we're in this bubble of soul, a, a, a spider web, with thin lines that go on and on and on. You could actually break off one line, but you get involved, uh, you're, in, you're in the way. I'll give you this. Slaves to the world economy. See, it's like this one. I give birth to a boy, and as soon as this boy was born, I sold his soul to the world economy, which is human creation. In trade, he's now going to be able to work, to earn money, to buy the garbage, to take bits and to recycle. What a deal. Mm -hmm. Slaves. We've been, yeah, we're all slaves of one of our creations. Well, the world economy is human creation, like, a, like that. Yeah. See, if you take out humans from this ecosystem, the world economy disappears a lot, a lot with war, hunger, crisis, trends, everything. All that we know is real. is human creation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All that we know is real is human creation. It's not. It's ours. It's fiction. Because if you take humans, that reality disappears with us. That means it's not part of, it's part of us. It's not this, it's us. And that's how we're slaves to it. See, this is not from, see, imagine, imagine, 4, 4, 8, plus 4, 12. 12 people is a thousand years in time. 12 people, we almost got 12 right here. But in time, that's a thousand years. You know how easy it is to get power, to keep that power into your family? Look, father, grandfather, father, father, grandfather, father son, grandchildren. Took, and then he took. Took. 
Yeah. You understand this? Yeah. So, yeah. if we look at yeah. 10 people, it's yeah. nothing. Yeah. But it's almost a thousand years in time. So, in order to, if you can imagine being a gang of 10, you can control that. Imagine being a gang of 10, but in time, where it's 4, 4, 4. Much good. No, no, 4, 4, 4. It's 10, but like this, so it's a thousand years, man. 10 people over here is nothing, so we can fit 10 people. But we put 10 people in time of father, of grandfather, son, grandson, it's a thousand years. So power has always been. See, for example, religion. Leonardo da Vinci, he drew a picture of a pregnant woman of, with a baby inside. At that time, all artists were to paint religious topics. So that means religion was financing all artists. At that time, if anybody was to open up a dead body, work of the devil. Sure. You'd be judged right there, buddy. Oh, curiosity. Oh, you're the devil. Sure. Right? So that was like, can't do it. Ah. Yeah? People were like, hey. So, but for Leonardo da Vinci to do that, I wasn't there, but me judging others from what I know of myself, I'm also an artist, you have to see it. So I'm actually picturing what happens. Check it out. Here's the priest. Boom. Here's the fucking butcher looking at the priest. Because, listen, at that time, that was the work of the devil. But he's a butcher, you know, that open up things with me. You know, so this guy, the priest is he's fucking scared to shit. This is the so he starts doing it, the priest is like, mm. and then here's fucking Leonardo Vinci. Whoa. Listen, at the same time, if anybody was to do that, Dude, that's how it's been done. All our, all since history, so you know, this came from that. Now, it's fucking shifted. Because now it's business. You know what? Business is not charity. Yeah? Business. So, no. so for example, you know what's business? You know what's good for business for a country that produces weapons? War. Fucking big business, man. Our big business. Business, big business. So if, uh, we're living in a time where we're slaves. When I say slaves, when I say alienated by world economy, I say this. If I was to show up with a pill that cured cancer, I would be a threat to the world economy. Stocks are going to crash, and it's going to be a crisis, and we got to get rid of it. I'll become a terrorist. I mean, I'll definitely get rid of it. Me and that fucking guy. Why? Because this is a fucking world economy here. This shit's gonna crash and the people are gonna, you know, get millions and fucking fucking running, 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 running. And it's scary shit, man. You don't wanna do it. Listen, a pill that cures us. Um, the family. One. Connected by this. A pill that cures us. And one of our creation overpowering us. Collective reality. What I'm talking about is this. Simple terms. You guys like soccer? There we go. One, belief. The collective make the soccer team win. One, that one person has belief. Hey! And then with a collective of people also believing in hey, that soccer team makes what the soccer team is. <laughs> okay, so in the soccer team, you have the people that make the soccer team. It's not the soccer team that makes the people. It's the adepts going and saying, yeah, yeah, that makes the, the show. Because the adepts are standing their back to soccer and go watch Bye Bye Soccer. You understand? We are feeding the creations. We are slaves because we believe nothing we can do about it. Because we don't see it. See, it's like this. They give us, sure, you can pick, pick, go ahead, pick, pick, go ahead, pick anything, which one do you want? Pick, pick, pick. It doesn't matter which one you pick if I give you the hand with the fingers to pick, does it? But for you, it matters to pick one of these fingers, because then you think, oh, I picked. I have to choose. But who's giving you to choose? You understand? Power has always been. When right now is the world economy. When it was religion, keeping everybody quiet, work of the devil, don't do that. But they were doing it to get information, to learn. But they were keeping everybody ignorant, but they were getting the knowledge while everybody was ignorant. Because they wanted to be divine. They wanted to be better than everybody else. And everybody had to see. You know, religion has power over kings and queens. So they have to be powerful. 
Yeah, and it was just it wasn't just one king, it was all different kings from different countries. They were fighting each other in religion. It was okay with 